welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about concealers and everything about concealing. Because I feel that, you know, I am an elite member of the dark circle society of the world, not just India. I feel like I have a lot to tell you guys about concealers and I keep getting a lot of concealer questions maybe because I do have evidently a lot of dark circles which I feel that I pretty much successfully, semi-successfully seem to cover them up while keeping them natural looking. So here are my tips for concealing. The first things first, when do you apply your concealer? If I'm wearing any foundation or if I'm wearing any base, I first apply my foundation or my base before which I first make sure that I apply some primer and then I would actually go in uh, with concealer. Now I've already lined my lash line just to show you guys that Ideally, if I'm using eyeshadow or things like that, or even mascara for that matter, I first finish my top half of my eye before I uh, start with concealing. The fallout on your face, on the makeup, it's very difficult to remove. So I'm all about making life simple, which is why I do it this way. Make sure that I always prime and prep my skin with eye cream much before I start off with anything. The eye cream that I use is from Shiseido. So once I'm ready to apply my concealer, the first thing I go into is my color corrector and the color corrector I use is also from Bobbi Brown. This is in the shade Light Peach. Basically what a color corrector does is it takes care of your undertones of the pigmentation. So most people under their eyes have purple undertones and peach completely counters the purple undertones. In case you want to, you know, conceal any uh, acne or any redness on your face, you should be using a green colored color, color corrector because green will totally nullify the red. I just take a very little bit on my finger and I apply it, I focus it even in the inner side of my eyes and I apply it right under my eyes. I go into my damp beauty blender to blend this out now I really love using my beauty blender instead of my fingers is because it not only blends everything out seamlessly it also basically just you know sucks up the extra product that I might have under my eyes and it makes sure that it won't crease but after that I go into my actual concealer and the one that I'm using is again from Bobbi Brown it's the concealer kit and the shade I use is natural apply my concealer is the same way that I applied my color corrector only I pull my concealer down a little so it actually sits on top of my skin as well and it blends nicely into my skin now, I really prefer doing it with my fingers instead of doing it with a brush because a brush does leave a lot of streaky finish under my eyes which I don't like. Go ahead with one extra step over here which I sometimes, you know, don't do this but then I really see the difference when I do it and I really like it when I do it is that I'm going to use another concealer, a liquid concealer on top and the one that I'm using is the Maybelline's Dream Lumi concealer and it's a liquid brightening concealer. If you're using two concealers, if you're using a cream concealer and a liquid concealer, make sure that you always use the liquid concealer on top of the cream concealer because a cream concealer will almost always be more pigmented and will provide more coverage than a liquid concealer which is why you know first you take care of all the concealing that needs to happen when you top your full coverage concealer with a brightening liquid concealer what it does is it will give you the tiniest bit of extra coverage and it will also brighten up your under eyes now why I like doing that is because if you can see that I have these hollows under my eyes I mean I don't want my eyes to look so sunken which is why brighten under my eyes liquid concealer will almost always look more natural than a cream concealer because after a while a cream concealer does tend to look slightly cakey if you want to brighten your under eyes top your cream concealer with a brightening liquid concealer it'll look natural and it'll look bright it'll look naturally bright and you'll like it what I do is I start in my inner corners as usual and I go down and I feather it outwards basically forming a triangle and keeping it nicely pigmented towards the inner side of my eye where I want some extra coverage if I get it as well. I don't make a triangle under my eyes because it's very hard to blend and I blend that out with my beauty blender as well. If you do have lines where you think a lot of product gets deposited, don't you know forget to pull your skin down a little and blend again. I sounded nasal didn't I? In case you think that you want more coverage, 
go in your concealer, apply some, blend it nicely. Then again, go in your concealer, apply some and blend it nicely. Those two thin layers of nicely applied concealer will blend and look uh, nicer for longer and will last longer as well compared to one thick layer that I'm going to set my under eye concealer. I'm using my Real Techniques uh, setting brush for this and I'm actually using the same uh, powder I got with the concealer and the concealer kit for this. First I pat it under my eyes and then I blend. Kajal under your eyes or if you want to you know put mascara on your lower lash line this is the time to do it not before applying concealer because once you already have your makeup on when you apply concealer and when you're trying to blend it they usually just get mixed together and you just have black all over this area which is not a very good look so I'm back I finished my concealer I've touched up my eyeliner a little and I have applied some lipstick Why not just demonstrate and show you guys what happens when you wear a darker concealer on one eye and a lighter concealer on the other eye. Here I'm wearing my uh, MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW35 and here I'm wearing my Maybelline Dream UV Concealer in Honey Meal or Honey Mile, I don't know how you say it. And this is definitely lighter than the pigmentation under my eyes and this is slightly darker. Now why a lot of people think that you should go for a warmer shade of concealer is because a lot of people assume that this would be a two-in-one product because the peach or orange undertones of a warmer concealer would nullify the purple under your eyes anyway you know but what they don't cater for is the fact that you know as soon as you apply it it does look natural at the end of the day it is still a darker color than the rest of your skin you basically are left with another dark circle it's probably just another color but it's still a dark circle which is why i don't uh, suggest getting a darker shade of concealer a lighter shade of concealer can't really conceal all the purple that's going on under your eyes and it ends up looking ashy and gray which is not a very good look either which is why i highly recommend using a color corrector that corrects the undertones of your pigmentation for and then going on top of it with a concealer that's exactly the color of your skin tone so you won't really have a different color dark circle under your eyes your eyes will look like a part of the rest of your face you can then top it with a brightening concealer just to brighten under your eyes and that will look great about powders though you can get hold of a powder that has a yellow undertone or it'll be great because a pale yellow will just basically brighten up under your eyes and it'll you know brighten up your concealer and everything and it'll look good for really long so it's a pale yellow color and now why you need to powder is because you need to set your concealer if you don't powder your concealer will just crease on your lines and will just budge and move and create a mess on your face and that's not what you want so you need to powder there are no two ways about it Next best thing to do if you can't find a pale yellow powder or a yellow powder to set the concealer under your eyes is to actually get a loose translucent uh, loose powder. The loose powder will always you know look natural it won't cake up under your eyes. The loose powder is usually finely milled and it just dusts the concealer with a very thin layer and it sets your concealer very nicely. If you want to try the baking method you know where you bake the concealer and the powder uh, under your eyes and that gives you a very flawless and nice finish. So in my black smoky eyes I've actually done that uh, baking thing so you can see it over there. I've I'll link that video down below. The worst thing you can do to set your concealer is using a pressed powder or a very high pigmented pressed powder like a powder foundation. This chap over here has a color of its own and it is actually quite pigmented. So when this pigment sits on this pigment and mixes with this pigment, it generally forms a pigment of its own and you never know what two formulas actually go together because a lot of powders tend to you know oxidize on top of a lot of concealers. To set your under eye concealer with powder the best brush to use is a medium sized uh, brush that is not really densely packed so it picks out the right amount of product. The Real Techniques setting brush. I also like the Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush to set under my eyes which is really great. It just picks out the right amount of product because of uh, it being Duo Fiber doesn't really pick out a lot of product and a lot of powder will just look cakey you know under your eyes. The third thing that I liked using in case you have the Real Techniques Co Collection uh, brush set is the contour brush from the, the brushes to not go for are these 
flat uh, thick brushes you know like the foundation brushes because they'll just pick out a lot of powder and they won't really be able to blend it out under your eyes properly don't get a really big fluffy powder brush because you know it won't even fit under your eyes so it's not going to help either and the absolute worst thing that you get a uh, getting thing that you get in your compacts to you know touch up on the go i think they're really fantastic but these sponges take a lot of product and they deposit a lot of product on your face so what happens is basically they cake up the concealer and they end up looking really cakey so that's about it for powders and concealers i hope this was not a very long rambly video and i hope that you actually could make some sense out of what i was trying to say and you picked up a trick or two if you like this video don't forget to give this a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you in my next video guys bye